Hello everyone and welcome to an introduction into the Rapid Revisit and High Resolution Skysat Solutions webinar. My name is Rodri Phillips and I'm a solutions engineer here at Planet based in Berlin where I work closely with all of our products. So as an overview I'm going to talk about the high resolution mission here at Planet. What do our Skysats do? What sets them apart from other products in the market? How we produce the imagery and what do our customers use this imagery for? So the two fleets that we operate here at Planet are the PlanetScope Doves and our Skysat constellation. The PlanetScope Doves are a very large fleet of a four band imaging satellite that are mapping the world almost every single day at 3.7 meter resolution. There is no tasking involved here. They're just constantly capturing the Earth on a near daily basis. Our Skysats are the high resolution product imaging in RGB and near infrared, as well as the panchromatic Skysats are tasking satellites and offer sub-daily captures globally. We've had a few exciting weeks with these, witnessing two successful launches and therefore increasing our fleet to 21, breaking even more barriers with our record revisit capabilities. Additionally, we also have 50 centimeter capability as opposed to our previous 72. To meet market needs, Planet have made the decision to lower the orbit of our Skysats from 500 kilometers to 450. This, with additional super resolution processing, has given us the ability to deliver 50 centimeter imagery. Something I didn't mention earlier is that 12 of our 14 original Skysats, known as the C generation, have propulsion on board. In this graphic here, you can see four little rockets at the top of the Skysat. We use those for orbit control, debris avoidance, but something we're currently using them for in 2020 is actually lowering the full constellation 50 kilometers to improve our resolution. Our most recent block of satellites, Block 3, have been launched to a 400 kilometer orbit to provide an even better ground sampling distance. The truly most unique thing about these next Skysats is how we launch and operate them. So the video demonstrates the orbit for all Skysats and doves. It is known as a sun synchronous orbit, which enables us to capture any point on Earth at the same time locally. This is about 10.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. Block three are in an inclined plane of about 53 degrees. Doing this will allow us to increase our capture rate, meaning seven to 12 new revisits per day, depending on the latitude of your target. And let's say those revisits will be distributed over a three hour time frame. The time frame will shift throughout the year. If we capture an image at 1 p.m., the capture time the following day will be 1.02 p.m. So this provides vantage points never previously seen by commercial images. We have two collection types, point collection, six by six kilometers, which is default and ideal for high revisit monitoring, and strip collect, which is six by 100 kilometers. This is preferable for wide area mapping. And in a best case scenario, we can provide the imagery within 14 hours from order submission. We also provide pre-processed imagery, which enables us to get imagery out within three hours from capture. So enough of the technical stuff, let's see what our imagery looks like. This is an upsampled 80 centimeter Skysat image from a 500 kilometer orbit versus the uh, imagery collected in the new 450 orbit. This is an image of Mundra power plant in India captured using a Skysat in the new 450 kilometer orbit as well. And this is zoomed in to display the intricate details. Here is a 50 centimeter example of Hormuz using only the panchromatic band, hence why it's a black and white. Uh, and this is actually an example we were able to capture using our fleet in 2019 over Abu Dhabi port, UAE. We were capable of doing this in September to, uh, 2019 because we had two satellites overhead in the morning and two in the afternoon. They're both pointing off an idea to enable this high revisit capability. However, with our current fleet, it's going to be more of a novel operation that we're guaranteed every single day. But you can see here four different satellites captured four images over about a, uh, a three hour period. And it really just shows how we can monitor pattern of life over a single point in a single day. So if you look at the, each image individually, you'll notice that on the left hand side here, the bright red ship is likely to be filling up its co uh, coal stockpile and it's gonna uh, be leaving Abu Dhabi. We can also see the movement of cars throughout the day. The focus of this is just to demonstrate that having four collections a day beyond the st uh, standard sun synchronous orbit times have not really been available to the broader market ever. 
So this is just the first time that additional times throughout the course of the day are able to be available to users and customers, thus allowing the user to make much faster and informed decisions when it comes to whatever it is that they need to do. Whether it's on the emergency management side, natural disasters, whether there are energy markets that are depending on activity and refineries or, or coal stockpile depots like this, whether it's just uh, being able to understand what your farm looks like at multiple times per day during the growing crop cycle. All of these things are possible and very easy to be able to consume and understand. So I'd just like to reiterate the highlights of our SkySats, the best revisit on the market. We will get your image first. Improv uh, improved spatial resolution and easier access to tasking, uh, as well as being affordable compared to similar products on the market. Thank you.